All right, you guys. You guys saw the crawl of the the crawl of the year for us, boy. Yeah. The King. CRC versus Rocky Balboa, the underdog. <laughs> man, I'm Jay. Honestly, I would like you to talk to him about it first, man. Well, obviously, this is a great rig. Has it was outstanding for nine, eight, nine months. Bone stock, even though it sits on Traxxas tires now. But regardless of that, when this came out, we did notice a little different capability out of a bone stock rig out of the box. And, you know, we drive custom rigs all day, and what keeps blowing my mind is this is stock when I was doing, like, the most capable stuff that you would normally do in a non-stock truck. And this was doing it with ease. And that's what it showed me, definitely. We're going to put a link of all the videos from San Francisco Beach Coast all the way to Mount Diablo. And you can actually hear Jay, like, just really, dude, and, and he wasn't, I was also blown away, too, you know, because I've, since the Traxxas TRX Force came out, I've been a big fan of it. And the micro servers is one of my favorite things because of the vehicle. But for this one being just stripped down, me and Jay, our drops, our jaws were dropped the whole time. You know, the capabilities there, but more than the capabilities, the comfortability. You felt comfortable putting this thing on the line, which we did every time. Definitely. You know, you're gonna see it. Um, shout out to Gabe, Mount Diablo Filmings. He crawled. We call that the steps. You're gonna see it, and um, you see the steps. If you're actually watching that right now, it's the last video. That's now called the Highway One Run. Shout out to Gabe for naming that on his turf, man. We appreciate Thanks. mad respect. This is the first truck to go up and down that bone stock out the box, 2S battery. I mean that right there. Me and Jay, just that's it. Oh. That's it. It's, he done. He done knock the knock. It's just a straight spoke. Hand. He definitely spoke. This vehicle can go up it, but unfortunately, I can't bring it down because the battery positions up front. It, it teeters, and it, there's times when that incline is so steep that I couldn't keep the, the back end down. If there's a better driver out there, I'd love to see someone bring a stock CRC because that's one of my favorite trucks. Like Jay will tell you, I own three of them. And you just saw me give one away to my brother, Miguel, man. That's childhood friend. For sure. I love that man. That's my boy. You know, and that's how much I like that truck. I gave it to one of my best friends. You know, I want him to enjoy this hobby. That's one of the best trucks we still feel. And he just got into the hobby the day he got the truck and went over Mount Diablo's hump that day. That's right. Which shows how good a driver he is. Shout out, Miguel. But also shows a brand new driver that never was in the RC got behind the wheel of something this stock went over a competition, literally a competition line. That's right. With ease. First try, you didn't have to reverse. Bone stock right out the box. That was the so, first time that thing was driven. Great, great, er, <laughs> ish. But you do notice a difference and it's an amazing build. Shout out Traxxas. Uh, they did a lot of research and development and they came up with a heck of a product. And, we'll, and let's talk about some of the things that like, you know, the toyish feeling. That's does have a toyish feeling. I'm so scale. I feel comfortable driving at least a Jeep. I'll get like Jeep people if I'm by myself. This, if I'm in the middle of somewhere, they'll be like, man. But when they see it go up, like something crazy. They'll have respect for it. But definitely. at the end of the day, it's, it gives it the toyish feeling. You just That's, that's the, just the truth. True. Now, we just came back from a... Uh, meet and greet at Mount Diablo, thrown by NorCal Hobbies, which you will see on Off One Crawlers soon coming up. And there was a gentleman who had a blue one. He just got out there on a trail, and his truck broke down, like Jay said, where he couldn't get it back up and running. He was carrying it around. So, cheap electronics. That's another negative to this truck. Yeah. I mean, we've seen it what almost three times now. Mm, a lot, a lot. Yeah. Basically, long story short, you're going to want to replace your Traxxas electronics totally. I feel to be safe. The drivetrain, yeah. we we we, oh, yeah. we 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 we'll give that a hundred percent. Oh yeah, portal axles. So what makes it different? Okay, the portal axles bring the weight down low stock. We usually like weighting wheels and tires to get more capability. Since this has the weight down low, do the portal axles. The housings are nice and heavy stock. It brings it down to where we usually weight the wheels, and we're just that's why we're so comfortable driving because it's yeah. properly weighted out of the box, and you don't. How he's nose diving, we could put a little weight in the back and sum that up real easy. 
but this is out the box. That's why that's why like Jay and me are like, we don't have to put these trail canyons, we've always talked highly of. They do. And they to, work great. Right. And to feel how planted this thing is, right out the box. I'm telling you, that's that's one of the biggest draws for us, um, was how planted this thing is. And we're and we're talking about inclines. We're not talking about just like little rock courses. This Stock. is this is God's green earth. Stock. We put this thing to the test, man. And um you know what? We're lucky because we beat the dog crap out of this truck and our electronics are still working. That's that's one thing that's shocking. We've seen other people have to carry these things out. Our truck's still running. And we're uh, <clears throat> and like you guys know, this is now the one that rocks the crown. So it has to stay stock until something else kicks it off its post. You know? So right now, um, we're waiting on Red Cat Gen 8. But before that, this truck, Jay, hmm? give him a sneak peek of what you thought of this. Seeing you go up, the Highway 1 RC run at Mount Diablo in it with just wheels and tires, literally. It's amazing. That speaks for itself. It went up the hardest line there and down it. Just wheels and tires. So, with, with what the, the, yeah, show them the spare. And you know me, take the spare out, don't even try it out, you're not gonna like it, it's gonna scratch everybody. He went up it with it and down it with it, and it actually helped coming down. Mm -hmm. it kept, yep. So there's a give and take with everything. You know, I feel bad for this product because we bought it and we threw it in the, the closet for <laughs> almost five months. And it's only because, you know, HPI, um, you know, 409 bucks, it just wasn't appealing to me, honestly, out the box. And, uh, um, and not only that, it's one of those vehicles just like the Komodo, you know, just like a vehicle that doesn't have a lot of accessories pushing it out there to give it more personality. True. Now, there is stuff coming, but um, it's not coming fast enough to where these products, these these products, your personality could grow for under $200. But HPI is a spectacular brand. I run an on-road RC car. That's what got me back in the game in 2016. Plowed something so hard the other day. Took the battery out, put a new one in because I demolished the battery and kept my session going. So shout out HPI, because that would have ended a lot of rigs, and uh, Mike kept going that day. Shout out HPI. And honestly, salute uh, HPI, because I'll tell you this, this is my favorite truck so far now. I'm dogging, I'm dogging with this thing. Stop talking, put your money on the table. Yeah. Low center of gravity yeah. chassis, that's what's unique about that one. It is scale, that's a Toyota body. You switch it to BF Goodrich tires, which makes it even scalar. And I fell in love after that. And it wheels. So 400 bucks, we're, we're, we're still under like $200 worth of accessories. So we're like, we're at like close to 575, 600, but we'll keep it 600, 600. And this truck is capable. That is, that's the insane part about it. You know, most people have to dump a lot of money into the axle. I spent 200 and this thing, I mean, Jay, but you know what? At the end of this video, we're going to just leave you with a, a hill, the hill climb yeah, of this thing. That's what we need to do. Just leave really the hill climb. And then what we're gonna do is take the stock tires, put it on there, and we're gonna give it a run for its money. Mm. All right. The, this, this one's supposed to have already went against this one, but you know what? I feel comfortable to take up against the Traxxas. Nice. I mean, what do you think, Jay? Of course. Definitely. You know, anything else you want to tell them about this vehicle? It's a great product. Like I said, uh, they had over a year to research and develop. You know, after this great product, and it shows that they spent their money well and came up with a very capable rig out of the box. If you do want the scale one, you can jump up and get the Bronco or the Land Rover. If you want the more scale look with the two-speed trans and the dip unlocking. But the balance is not the same, which you've seen with the last six months with us. This is an easy body change if you want something more scale. Don't put, even worry about the body. Put a Hilux on there, Toyota Hilux, or any any pickup body. Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, the we, we love, I love the micro servo Traxxas TRX Force, but to be honest, out the box, this thing, this thing, if you've been in this hobby for, for a while, if you're seasoned, it's like, it's a comp rig. Nick Moore Performance specifically built two rigs after this came out to beat this stock rig, which speaks tremendous about um, a amongst stock us. rig. Yeah, and that's our builder. Shout out, Nick. And he came up with two great rigs, but it's because of this. And if you guys heard us talk, it, it's it's products like this that push this forward. Yes. They're gonna now now other companies gotta push it, like, dude. Actually, you gotta push it. You know, HPI, Viterra. You know, two. Look at Red Cat. Red Cat's pushing it. I, I like that. They're, Beautiful build I've seen. They're, they're getting aggressive. They're getting. I can't Beautiful wait. Build. Yo, JJ, Jason, get us one.
With that said, hey, you guys, we hope you guys enjoyed that. We have a lot more coming in. Hey, we'll see you all on the trail. All right. As we made it all the way here, you know, the first SCX-10, the original one, busted links, and then we just snapped the pin, which we're waiting for Richie from uh, Driftomaniacs on his way to the car to grab one. But for now, we're going to take the VS, I mean the HPI, and the Traxxas up the infamous steps. All right. Jay. Ooh, first time for me. Yeah, it is like driving a clutch. <laughs> That is a stock HPI with custom rims and tires and a servo because I blew the stock servo. With no drag brakes, y'all. No let drag brakes. Let me uh, zoom yeah, back out how far that is. Nice job, driver. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> nice, bro. <laughs> 